Boston University commonly referred to as BOO is a private, non-profit, research university in Boston, Massachusetts. The university is nonsectarian, but has been historically affiliated with the United Methodist Church. The university has more than 3,900 faculty members and nearly 33,000 students, and is one of Boston's largest employers. It offers bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctorates, and medical, dental, business, and law degrees through 17 schools and colleges on two urban campuses. The main campus is situated along the Charles River in Boston's Fenway Kenmore and Alston neighborhoods, while the Boston University Medical Campus is in Boston's South End neighborhood. BOO is categorized as an R1, doctoral university very high research activity in the Carnegie classification of institutions of higher education. BOO is a member of the Boston Consortium for Higher Education and the Association of American Universities. The university was ranked 37th among undergraduate programs at national universities, and 39th among global universities by U.S. News & World Report in its 2017 rankings. Among its alumni and current or past faculty, the university counts eight Nobel laureates, 23 Pulitzer Prize winners, 10 Rhodes Scholars, 6 Marshall Scholars, 48 Sloan Fellows, 9 Academy Award winners, and several Emmy and Tony Award winners. Boo also has MacArthur, Fulbright, Truman and Guggenheim Fellowship holders as well as American Academy of Arts and Sciences and National Academy of Sciences members among its past and present graduates and faculty. In 1876, Boo professor Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in a Boo lab. The Boston University Terriers compete in the NCAA Division I BOO athletic teams compete in the Patriot League, and Hockey East conferences, and their mascot is Rhett the Boston Terrier. Boston University is well known for men's hockey, in which it has won five national championships, most recently in 2009. Topic history Topic Predecessor institutions and university Charter Boston University traces its roots to the establishment of the Newbury Biblical Institute in Newbury, Vermont in 1839, and was chartered with the name Boston University by the Massachusetts Legislature in 1869. The university organized formal centennial observances both in 1939 and 1969. On April 24 to 25, 1839, a group of Methodist ministers and laymen at the Old Bromfield Street Church in Boston elected to establish a Methodist theological school. Set up in Newbury, Vermont, the school was named the Newbury Biblical Institute. In 1847, the Congregational Society in Concord, New Hampshire, invited the Institute to relocate to Concord and offered a disused Congregational Church building with a capacity of 1,200 people. Other citizens of Concord covered the remodeling costs. One stipulation of the invitation was that the Institute remain in Concord for at least 20 years. The charter issued by New Hampshire designated the school the Methodist General Biblical Institute, but it was commonly called the Concord Biblical Institute. With the agreed 20 years coming to a close, the trustees of the Concord Biblical Institute purchased 30 acres square meters on Aspinwall Hill in Brookline, Massachusetts, as a possible relocation site. The Institute moved in 1867 to 23 Pinckney Street in Boston, and received a Massachusetts charter as the Boston Theological Institute. In 1869, three trustees of the Boston Theological Institute obtained from the Massachusetts legislature a charter for a university by name of Boston University. These trustees were successful Boston businessmen and Methodist laymen, with a history of involvement in educational enterprises and became the founders of Boston University. They were Isaac Rich (1801–1872), Lee Claflin (1791–1871), and Jacob Sleeper (1802–1889), for whom Boston University's three West Campus dormitories are named. Lee Claflin's son, William, was then governor of Massachusetts and signed the university charter on May 26, 1869, after it was passed by the legislature. As reported by Kathleen Kilgore in her book, Transformations, A History of Boston University see further reading, the founders directed the inclusion in the charter of the following provision, unusual for its time. No instructor in said university shall ever be required by the trustees to profess any particular religious opinions as a test of office, and no student shall be refused admission. 
on account of the religious opinions he may entertain, provided, nonetheless, that this section shall not apply to the theological department of said university. Every department of the new university was also open to all on an equal footing regardless of sex, race, or with the exception of the school of theology religion. Early years 1870 The Boston Theological Institute was absorbed into Boston University in 1871 as the Boo School of Theology. In January 1872, Isaac Rich died, leaving the vast bulk of his estate to a trust that would go to Boston University after ten years of growth while the university was organized. Most of this bequest consisted of real estate throughout the core of the city of Boston which was appraised at more than $1.5 million. Kilgore describes this as the largest single donation to an American college or university to that time. By December, however, the Great Boston Fire of 1872 had destroyed all but one of the buildings Rich had left to the university, and the insurance companies with which they had been insured were bankrupt. The value of his estate, when turned over to the university in 1882, was half what it had been in 1872. As a result, the university was unable to build its contemplated campus on Aspinwall Hill, and the land was sold piecemeal as development sites. Street names in the area, including Claflin Road, Claflin Path, and University Road, are the only remaining evidence of university ownership in this area. Following the fire, Boston University established its new facilities in buildings scattered throughout Beacon Hill and later expanded into the Boylston Street and Copley Square area before building its Charles River campus in the 1930s. After receiving a year's salary advance to allow him to pursue his research in 1875, Alexander Graham Bell, then a professor at the university, invented the telephone in a Boston University laboratory. In 1876, Borden Parker Bone was appointed Professor of Philosophy. Bone, an important figure in the history of American religious thought, was an American Christian philosopher and theologian in the Methodist tradition. He is known for his contributions to personalism, a philosophical branch of liberal theology. The movement he led is often referred to as Boston personalism. The university continued its tradition of openness in this period. In 1877, Boston University became the first American university to award a Ph.D. to a woman when classic scholar Helen Magill White earned hers with a thesis on the Greek drama. Then in 1878 Anna Oliver became the first woman to receive a degree in theology in the United States, but the Methodist Church would not ordain her. Lelia Robinson Sautel, who graduated from the university's law school in 1881, became the first woman admitted to the bar in Massachusetts. Solomon Carter Fuller, who graduated from the University's School of Medicine in 1897, became the first black psychiatrist in the United States and would make significant contributions to the study of Alzheimer's disease. 20th century and establishment of the Charles River Campus Seeking to unify a geographically scattered school and enable it to participate in the development of the city, school president Lemuel Merlin arranged that the school buy the present campus along the Charles River. Between 1920 and 1928, the school bought the 15 acres 61,000 square meters of land that had been reclaimed from the river by the Riverfront Improvement Association. Plans for a riverside quadrangle with a Gothic Revival administrative tower modeled on the old Boston stump. In Boston, England were scaled back in the late 1920s when the State Metropolitan District Commission used eminent domain to seize riverfront land for Starrow Drive. Merlin was never able to build the new campus, but his successor, Daniel L. Marsh, led a series of fundraising campaigns interrupted by both the Great Depression and World War II that helped Marsh to achieve his dream and to gradually fill in the university's new campus. By spring 1936, the student body included 10,384 men and women. In 1951, Harold C. Case became the school's fifth president and under his direction the character of the campus changed significantly, as he sought to change the school into a national research university. The campus tripled in size to 45 acres 180,000 square meters, and added 68 new buildings before Case retired in 1967. The first large dorms, Claflin, Rich and Sleeper Halls in West Campus were built, and in 1965 construction began on 700 Commonwealth Avenue, later named Warren Towers, designed to house 1,800 students. 
Between 1961 and 1966, the Bu La Tower, the George Sherman Union, and the Muger Memorial Library were constructed in the brutalist style, a departure from the school's traditional architecture. The College of Engineering and College of Communication were housed in a former stable building and auto show room, respectively. Besides his efforts to expand the university into a rival for Greater Boston's more prestigious academic institutions, such as Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology both in Cambridge across the Charles River from the Boo campus, Case involved himself in the start of the student, societal upheavals that came to characterize the 1960s. When a mini squabble over editorial policy at College Radio WBUR FM, whose offices were under a tall radio antenna mast in front of the School of Public Relations and Communications, later College of Communications, started growing in the spring of 1964, Case persuaded university trustees that the university should take over the widely heard radio station, now a major outlet for national public radio and still a BU-owned broadcast facility. The trustees approved the firing of student managers and clamped down on programming and editorial policy, which had been led by the late Jim Thistle, later a major force in Boston's broadcast news milieu. The on-campus political dispute between Case's conservative administration and the suddenly active and mostly liberal student body led to other disputes over BU student print publications, such as the BU News and the Scarlet, a fraternity association newspaper. The presidency of John Silber also saw much expansion. In the late 1970s, the Leahy Clinic vacated its building at 605 Commonwealth Avenue and moved to Burlington, Massachusetts. The vacated building was purchased by Boo to house the School of Education. After arriving from the University of Texas in 1971, Silber set out to remake the university into a global center for research by recruiting star faculty. Two of his faculty, stars, Elie Wiesel and Derek Walcott, won Nobel Prizes shortly after Silber recruited them. Two others, Saul Bellow and Sheldon Lee Glashow won Nobel Prizes before Silber recruited them. In addition to recruiting new scholars, Silber expanded the physical campus, constructing the Photonics Center for the Study of Light, a new building for the School of Management, and the Life Science and Engineering Building for Interdisciplinary Research, among other projects. Campus expansion continued in the 2000s with the construction of new dormitories and the Agonis Arena. Topic: The 21st century. Robert Brown's presidency, which started in 2005, has sought to further the consolidation of campus infrastructure that was commenced by earlier administrations. During his tenure, Brown has strengthened the core missions of undergraduate, graduate, and professional education, interdisciplinary work, and research and scholarship across all 17 schools and colleges. In 2007, Brown introduced his 10-year strategic plan, which articulates BOO's core values in a set of institutional commitments and defines goals to be met to establish BOO as one of the largest private research universities. Brown committed the university to investing $1.8 billion in the completion of this 10-year strategic plan, allocating new resources to inter-college opportunities for undergraduates, improving the campus's academic and residential facilities, and recruiting new faculty. One overriding goal has been to break down the barriers between the university's 17 schools and colleges that had evolved over the decades and find ways to combine different fields and researchers within interdisciplinary research centers. This philosophy of creating new knowledge from a variety of corners of the university extends to undergraduate education, as well, which has been overhauled to expose students to new fields and ways of thinking and problem solving. This includes requiring course work outside their majors, development of personal communication skills, and cross-school collaborations. That new curriculum, called the Boo Hub, goes into effect in 2018. The strategic plan also called for increasing the annual budget by $225 million per year. The FY2016 operating budget was $2.2 billion and the FY2017 budget is $2.4 billion. In FY2016, the research enterprise at the university brought in $368.9 million in sponsored research, comprising 1,896 awards to 722 faculty investigators. In 2012, the university was invited to join the Association of American Universities, the organization of the 62 leading research universities in the United States and Canada. 
Bu, one of only four universities invited to join the group since 2000, became the 62nd member. In the Boston area, Harvard, MIT, and Brandeis are also members. That same year, a $1 billion comprehensive fundraising campaign was launched, the university's first ever comprehensive campaign, with the primary focus on financial aid, faculty support, research, and facility improvements. In 2016, the campaign goal was reached. The Board of Trustees voted to raise the goal to $1.5 billion and extend through 2019. To date, the campaign has funded some 74 new faculty positions, including 49 named full professorships and 25 career development professorships. In February 2015, the faculty adopted an open access policy to make its scholarship publicly accessible online. In 2016, Times Higher Education the named Boston University to a list of 53 international powerhouse institutions, schools that have the best chance of being grouped alongside, or ahead of, THE's most elite global old stars, a group that includes the University of Oxford, Stanford, Harvard, Yale, MIT, and Princeton. The Charles River and Medical campuses have also undergone notable physical transformations since 2006, from new buildings and playing fields to dormitory renovations. The campus has seen the addition of a 26-floor student residence at 33 Harry Agonis Way, nicknamed Stuvi II, the new balance playing field, the Yaki Center for Student Services, the Allen and Sherry Leventhal Center, the Law Tower and Redstone Annex, the Engineering Product Innovation Center EPIC, the Center for Integrated Life Sciences and Engineering CILSE, and the Joan and Edgar Booth Theater, scheduled to open in fall 2017. The Dayad Family Alumni Center in the renovated Boo Castle will begin in May 2017. Development of the university's existing housing stock has included significant renovations to Boo's oldest dorm, Miles Standish Hall and Annex, and to Kalachand Hall, formerly known as Shelton Hall, and a brand new student residence on the medical campus. Topic campus Topic Boston campuses and facilities The university's main Charles River campus follows Commonwealth Avenue and the Green Line, beginning near Kenmore Square and continuing for over a mile and a half to its end near the border of Boston's Alston neighborhood. The Boston University Bridge over the Charles River into Cambridge represents the dividing line between Main Campus, where most schools and classroom buildings are concentrated, and West Campus, home to several athletic facilities and playing fields, the large West Campus dorm, and the new John Hancock Student Village Complex. As a result of its continual expansion, the Charles River Campus contains an array of architecturally diverse buildings. The College of Arts and Sciences, Marsh Chapel, site of the Marsh Chapel experiment, and the School of Theology buildings are the university's most recognizable and were built in the late 1930s and 1940s in collegiate Gothic style. A sizable amount of the campus is traditional Boston brownstone, especially at Bay State Road and South Campus where Boo has acquired almost every townhouse those areas offer. The buildings are primarily dormitories but many also serve as various institutes as well as department offices. From the 1960s to 1980s many contemporary buildings were constructed including the Muger Library, Boo Law School and Warren Towers, all of which were built in the brutalist style of architecture. The Metcalf Science Center for Science and Engineering, constructed in 1983, might more accurately be described as structural expressionism. Morse Auditorium, adjacent, stands in stark architectural contrast, as it was constructed as a Jewish temple. The most recent additions to Boo's campus are the Photonics Center, Life Science and Engineering Building, the Student Village which includes the Fitrec Center and Agonis Arena, and the School of Management. All these buildings were built in brick, a few with a substantial amount of brownstone. Topic student housing Boston University's housing system is the nation's tenth largest among four-year colleges. Boo was originally a commuter school, but the university now guarantees the option of on-campus housing for four years for all undergraduate students. Currently, 76% of the undergraduate population lives on campus. Boston University requires that all students living in dormitories be enrolled in a year-long meal plan with several combinations of meals and dining points which can be used as cash in on-campus facilities. Housing at Boo is an unusually diverse melange, ranging from individual 19th-century brownstone townhouses and apartment buildings acquired by the school to large-scale high-rises built in the 1960s and 2000s. The large dormitories include the 1,800 student Warren Towers, the largest on campus, as well as West Campus and the Towers. 
The smaller dormitory and apartment-style housing are mainly located in two parts of campus, Bay State Road and the South Campus residential area. Bay State Road is a tree-lined street that runs parallel to Commonwealth Avenue and is home to the majority of Booz townhouses, often called brownstones. South Campus is a student residential area south of Commonwealth Avenue and separated from the main campus by the Massachusetts Turnpike. Some of the larger buildings in that area have been converted into dormitories, while the rest of the South Campus buildings are apartments. Boston University's newest residence and principal apartment-style housing area is officially called 33 Harry Agonis Way, Stuvi 2 and officially, and is part of the John Hancock Student Village Project. The north-facing, 26-story building is apartment-style while the south-facing, 19-story building is in an eight-bedroom dormitory-style suite. In total, the building houses 960 residents. Aside from these main residential areas, smaller residential dormitories are scattered along Commonwealth Avenue. Boston University also provides specialty houses or specialty floors to students who have particular interests. All large dormitories have 24-7 security and require all students to swipe and show their school identification before entering. Kalachan Hall, formerly Shelton Hall, is rumored to be haunted by the ghost of playwright Eugene O'Neill. O'Neill lived in what was originally room 401 now 419 while the building was a residential hotel. He died in a hospital on November 27, 1953, and his ghost is rumored to haunt both the room and the floor. The fourth floor is now a specialty floor called the Writer's Corridor. Topic. John Hancock Student Village The Student Village is a large new residential and recreational complex covering 10 acres 40, square meters between Buick Street and Nickerson Field, ground formerly occupied by a National Guard armory, which had been used by the university for indoor track and field and as a storage facility before its demolition and the start of construction. The dormitory of apartment suites at 10 Buick Street often abbreviated to Stuvi by students opened to juniors and seniors in the fall of 2000. In 2002, John Hancock Insurance announced its sponsorship of the multi-million dollar project. The Agonis Arena, named after Harry Agonis, was opened to concerts and hockey games in January 2005. The Agonis Arena is capable of housing 6,224 spectators for Terrier hockey games, replacing the smaller Walter Brown Arena. It can also be used for concerts and shows. In March 2005, the final element of Phase 2 of the Student Village Complex, the Fitness and Recreation Fitrec Center, was opened, drawing large crowds from the student body. Construction on the rest of Phase 2, which included 19 and 26-story residential towers was finished in fall 2009. Other facilities The Muger Memorial Library is the central academic library for the Charles River campus. It also houses the Howard Gottlieb Archival Research Center, formerly called the 20th Century Archive, where documents belonging to thousands of eminent figures in literature, journalism, diplomacy, the arts, and other fields are housed. The George Sherman Union GSU, located next to Muger Memorial Library, provides students with a food court featuring many fast food chains, including Panda Express, Starbucks, and Pinkberry. The GSU also provides lounge areas for students to relax or study. The basement of the George Sherman Union is home to the Boo Central Lounge, which hosts concerts and other activities and events. The Castle Located on the west end of Bay State Road is one of the older buildings on campus. The building was commissioned by William Lindsay for his own use in 1905, long before his daughter's honeymoon on the ill-fated Lusitania. In 1939, the university acquired the property by agreement with the city to repay all back taxes owed. These funds were raised through donations from, among others, Dr. William Chenery, a university trustee. It served as the residence of the university president until 1967, when President Christ Janer found it too large for his needs as a residence and turned it to other uses. It is now a conference space. Underneath the castle is the Boo Pub, the only Boo operated drinking establishment on campus. The Florence and Chaffetz Hillel House on Bay State Road is the Hillel House for the university. 
With four floors and a basement, the facility includes lounges, study rooms and a kosher dining hall, open during the academic year including Passover to students and walk-ins from the community. The first floor also includes the Granby Street Café as well as TVs and ping-pong, pool and foosball tables. The Hillel serves as a focal point for Boo's large and active Jewish community. It hosts approximately 30 student groups, including social, cultural, and religious groups, and Boo Students for Israel Busi, Holocaust Education, and the Center for Jewish Learning and Experience. It hosts a plethora of programs and speakers as well as Shabbat services and meals. Topic. Cultural life The university is located at the junction of Fenway Kenmore, Alston, and Brookline. In the Fenway Kenmore area are the Museum of Fine Arts, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, and the nightlife of Lansdowne Street as well as Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox. Alston has been Boston's largest bohemian neighborhood since the 1960s. Nicknamed, Alston Rock City, the neighborhood is home to many artists and musicians, as well as a variety of cafes, and many of Boston's small music halls. Beyond the southern border of the campus in Brookline, Harvard Avenue offers independent and foreign films at Coolidge Corner Theatre, and author readings at the Brookline Booksmith. Other nearby cultural institutions include Symphony Hall, Jordan Hall, the main branch of the Boston Public Library in Copley Square, the Art and Commerce of Fashionable Newberry Street, and across the Charles River, the museums, shops, and galleries in Harvard Square and elsewhere in Cambridge. Boo is home to the Boston Playwrights Theatre. Boo was previously associated with the Huntington Theatre Company on Huntington Avenue, but put the Boo Theatre property up for sale in 2016, casting a shadow over the future of the organization. Boo hosts campus and non campus musical performances in the Psy Performance Center at 685 Commonwealth Avenue, and the CFA Concert Hall at 855 Commonwealth Avenue. Visual art works by students and by visiting artists are displayed in rotating exhibitions in the university's three galleries, the Boo Art Gallery at the Stone Gallery, the 808 Gallery, and the Sherman Gallery, located respectively at 855, 808, and 775 Commonwealth Avenue. In addition, Boo had been associated with the Photographic Resource Center located at 832 Commonwealth Avenue, which mounts several exhibitions yearly, as well as special events for student and professional photographers. However it has been announced that support has been withdrawn, and the PRC is searching for a new home as of May 2017. Topic. Guest and visitor policies Prior to September 2007, Boston University had a restrictive visitor policy, which limited the ability of students from different dormitories to visit each other at night. This changed when a new policy approved by Brown took effect. The new policy allows for students living on campus to swipe into any on-campus dormitory between the hours of 7 a.m. and 2 a.m. using their ID cards. Student residents can also sign in guests with photo identification at any time, day or night. Overnight visitors of the opposite sex are no longer required to seek a same-sex co-host. However, during the week before final exams no guests are permitted in the halls overnight, and are expected to be out of the hall by 2 a.m. <laughs> Mass transit Most of the buildings of the main campus are located on or near Commonwealth Avenue. The Kenmore Square area of campus including the Boston University Bookstore, Shelton Hall and Miles Standish Hall may be accessed using the Kenmore stop on the MBTA Green Line B, C and D trains. Most of the rest of the main campus may be accessed using the B trains of the Green Line between the Blandford Street and Babcock Street stops. Crowding on the busy Commonwealth Avenue branch of the MBTA Green Line is very seasonal. During the summer, ridership falls by more than half, as some students leave and others arrive, and more riders switch to walking or bicycling. The South Campus area of campus can be accessed using the Fenway stop on the D trains. Bicycle traffic on Commonwealth Avenue is heavy, and advocacy groups have held public meetings with BOO, the MBTA, and the City of Boston to improve safety and congestion along this travel corridor. The MBTA plans to consolidate and reduce the number of stops along Commonwealth Avenue to speed travel and to reduce construction costs to upgrade the remaining stations. 
Improvements planned include full handicapped accessibility at the new stations, fencing to encourage pedestrians to use protected crosswalks, traffic signal prioritization for transit vehicles, and improved aesthetics. The Commonwealth Avenue Improvement Project is coordinated by the Massachusetts Highway Department, in cooperation with BOO, the MBTA, the City of Boston, the Boston Water and Sewer Commission, and other organizations. The No. 57 bus runs from Kenmore Square along Commonwealth Avenue, and into Alston and Brighton. The MBTA commuter rail Framingham, Worcester line also stops near campus at Yaki Station. The medical campus is served by the No. 1 and CT1 Crosstown buses which run along Massachusetts Avenue, as well as the No. 47 and CT3 Crosstown buses which connect the Boston University Medical Center with the Longwood Medical Area. The Silver Line Washington Street branch runs the entire length of the medical campus, one block north of most parts of the campus. It connects Boston University Medical Center with Tufts Medical Center Station and downtown Boston. The nearest rapid transit subway station is the Massachusetts Avenue Station on the Orange Line, located three blocks north of the Medical Center. Sustainability The university has a sustainability initiative and a sustainability office. Boston University's strategic plan for campus sustainability is also integrated into the university's overarching strategic plan in many areas including the Climate Action Plan Task Force, a faculty-led initiative developing the university's first climate action plan. Other campuses London campus Boston University's largest study abroad program is located in London, England. Boston University London Programs offers a semester of study and work in London through their London Internship Program LIP, as well as a number of other specialized programs. The LIP program combines a professional internship with coursework that examines a particular academic area in the context of Britain's history, culture, and society and its role in modern Europe. Courses in each academic area are taught by selected British faculty exclusively to students enrolled in the Boston University program. Upon successful completion of a semester, students earn 16 Boston University credits. BOO London programs are headquartered in South Kensington, London. The campus consists of the main building at 43 Harrington Gardens, as well as three nearby residences to house students. This program is open to Boston University students, as well as students at other American colleges. Topic. Los Angeles campus In Los Angeles, BOO has an internship program for students to study and work in the heart of the film, television, advertising, public relations, and entertainment management and law industries. The program offers three tracks from which undergraduate and graduate students can choose, advertising and public relations, film and television, and entertainment management. Graduated students have the opportunity to continue their education by enrolling in the Los Angeles Certificate Program, where students can choose either the Acting in Hollywood or the Writer in Hollywood track. Courses are taught by Boston University faculty and alumni who serve as mentors in and out of the classroom. Upon successful completion of a semester students will earn 16 Boston University credits. Students who successfully complete the Los Angeles Certificate Program will receive 8 Boston University credits and a certificate from Boston University College of Fine Arts or College of Communication. Topic. Paris Campus The Paris Center runs several programs, the largest of which is the Paris Internship Program dating from 1989. Students take language and elective courses with French faculty at the BOU Paris Center, then are placed in internships with French businesses and organizations in the area. Students live with host families or in a dormitory for the extent of the semester. Boston University Paris also organizes exchange programs with the business school Paris Dauphine University and a year-long program with the Institut d'études politiques de Paris Sciences Po. Topic: Washington DC campus. In Washington DC, BU has internship, journalism and management programs. Students study in the university's building on Massachusetts Avenue in DuPont Circle and take advantage of the city by interning at different locations. 
In 2011, the university completed construction of a new, multi-story residence to house students in the program featuring touch-less entry cards for security and suites with communal kitchens, right next to the Woodley Park, Zoo Metro stop. The multimedia and journalism program allows students to act as Washington, D.C. Correspondents for newspapers and television stations across the Northeast and New England while interning at major news outlets in the city, as well as at many PR internships in politics, government and public affairs. Internship opportunities are also offered in a wide variety of sectors for students enrolled in other BOO Study Abroad Washington programs. Topic Sydney Campus In Sydney, BOO has internship, management, film festival, travel writing, engineering, and school of education programs that vary based on semester. Around 150 students live in the university's building in Chippendale developed by Tony Owen Partners. The building uses fissures to provide maximum solar access to bedrooms as well as natural ventilation throughout the building. The building opened in the beginning of 2011 and features underground classrooms, a lecture hall, office space, library, and a roof patio. Other internship and study abroad opportunities are available through the study abroad office. Topic admissions demographics based on currently enrolled student responses within the university student database 50.6% white 14% asian 11.6% international students 8.6% hispanic and 3.2% black fall 2015 international student enrollment at boston university is 43% chinese 9% indian 5% korean 5% saudi arabian 4% canadian 4% taiwanese 2% turkish and 1% from each of the following countries venezuela brazil mexico italy france thailand spain and japan the other 18% of international enrollment comes from 123 other countries among international students, 39% are pursuing undergraduate degrees, 37% are pursuing graduate degrees, and 23% are enrolled in other programs. BU also has the second highest number of Jews of any private school after NYU in the country with between 3,000 and 4,000, or roughly 15% identifying as Jewish. The plurality of registrants were from Massachusetts 19%, followed by New York 16%, New Jersey 9%, California 8%, Connecticut 4%, Pennsylvania 4%, and Texas 2%. Topic academics Topic Colleges and schools Boston University offers bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctorates, and medical, dental, and law degrees through its 18 schools and colleges. The newest school at Boston University is the Frederick S. Party School of Global Studies established 2014, and the newest name is the Boston University Wheelock College of Education and Human Development renamed in 2018 following the merger with Wheelock College. Each school and college at the university has a three-letter abbreviation, which is commonly used in place of their full school or college name. For example, the College of Arts and Sciences is commonly referred to as CAS, the Questrom School of Business as QST, the School of Education as SED, etc. The College of Fine Arts was formerly named the School of Fine Arts SFA. The College of Arts and Sciences CAS was formerly named the College of Liberal Arts CLA. The College of Communication was formerly named the School of Public Communication SPC. The Questrom School of Business QST was formerly known as the School of Management SMG, and the College of Business Administration CBA prior to that. The College of General Studies CGS was formerly named the College of Basic Studies CBS. The Mental Health Counseling and Behavioral Medicine MHCBM program at Boston University School of Medicine offers a master's degree for students who wish to become licensed to practice as a mental health counselor. The program adheres to educational guidelines and standards of the American Counseling Association ACA, American Mental Health Counselors Association AMHCA, and the Council for Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs CACREP, which is an independent agency recognized by the Council for Higher Education Accreditation. The MHCBM program is the only counselor education program in the entire United States that is housed in a medical school for solely training students in clinical mental health counseling to treat clients and patients with a mental disorder via counseling and psychotherapy. Topic rankings U.S. News & World Report ranks Boston University tied for 37th among national universities and 32nd among global universities for 2019. 
Boston University was also ranked 10th among public health graduate schools, 10th among social work schools, tied for 20th among law schools, tied for 26th in medical schools primary care, tied for 29th among medical schools research, 35th among engineering schools, tied for 41st among business schools, and 34th among education schools. Boston University is ranked number 36 nationally in the Wall Street Journal – Time Higher Education U.S. Colleges and Universities Ranking. According to the U.S. News & World Report Boston University is ranked 18th in Best Colleges for Veterans, 52nd in Best Undergraduate Teaching, 46th in Best Value Schools, 32nd in High School Counselor Rankings, 28th in Most Innovative Schools, 48th in Best Undergraduate Engineering Programs, 12th in Biomedical Engineering. U.S. News Best Colleges Rankings. U.S. News & World Report. Boston University's graduate schools are ranked as 42nd Best Business School, 34 Road Best Education School, 35th Best Engineering Schools, 22nd Best Law School, 4th Best Health Care Law, 11th Best Intellectual Property Law, 7th Best Tax Law, 26th Best Medical School, 29th Best Research Medical School, 85th Best Biological Sciences, 59th Best Chemistry, 31st Clinical Psychology, 49th Computer Science, 78th Earth Science. 23rd in economics, 12th in development economics, 42nd in English, 59th in best fine arts programs, 17th in healthcare management, 44th in history, 47th in mathematics, 1st in occupational therapy, 14th in physical therapy, 37th in physics, 56th in political science, 39th in psychology, 10th in public health, 10th in social work, 47th in sociology, 12th in speech language pathology and 50th in statistics. U.S. News Best Graduate School Rankings. U.S. News & World Report. In 2014, Boo's QSB Undergraduate Business Program was ranked 23rd by Bloomberg Businessweek. QS World University Rankings ranked Boston University 81st overall in the world in its 2018 rankings, with a 5-star rating. Times Higher Education ranked Boston University 64th in the world for 2016-17. Times Higher Education ranked Boston University 6th in the 2017 Global University Employability Rankings. The academic ranking of world universities ranks Boston University 39th in the United States, and 75th in the world, in its 2016 list. Newsweek International Edition, in its list of the top 100 global universities, ranked Boston University the 35th in the United States, and 65th in the world. The Economics Department at Boston University is ranked 20th in the world as of February 2016. Additionally, U.S. News & World Report ranks the program in economics 24th in the U.S. for 2017. The biomedical engineering graduate and undergraduate programs are ranked 7th and 8th respectively in the nation by U.S. News & World Report. The undergraduate program is also the 6th largest ABET accredited program in the nation. Additionally, all of the professional graduate programs in the Boston University College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Sargent College rank within the top 8% in the country. The Occupational Therapy Program ranked first out of 156 programs, the Physical Therapy Program ranked 14th out of 201 programs, and the Speech Language Pathology Program ranked 12th out of 250 programs. The College of Communication Journalism and Communication Programs are highly ranked nationally, with its film program ranked 11th by The Hollywood Reporter in 2013. Business Week ranks Boston University's MBA program 38th, and its undergraduate business program 18th. The Economist ranks Boston University School of Management 42nd among global MBA programs in 2010. The Financial Times ranks Boston University's MBA program 68th in the world. Quantnet ranks Boston University's Mathematical Finance program 14th in the world. U.S. News ranks Boston University's Online Graduate Information Technology programs 4th in the nation, the Online Graduate Criminal Justice programs 4th in the nation, and the Online Graduate Business programs excluding MBAs 10th in the nation. The Chronicle of Higher Education places the Boston University School of Social Work as sixth in the nation for research productivity by faculty. The Center for Measuring University Performance ranks Boston University among the top 50 research universities in the country. BU is one of 96 American universities receiving the highest research classification by the Carnegie Foundation. 
Topic research in FY2016, the university reported in $368.9 million in sponsored research, comprising 1,896 awards to 722 faculty investigators. Funding sources included the National Science Foundation NSF, the National Institutes of Health NIH, the U.S. Department of Defense, the European Commission of the European Union, the Susan G. Komen Foundation, and the Federal Health Resources and Services Administration. The university's research enterprise encompasses dozens of fields, but its primary focus currently lies in seven areas, data science, engineering biology, global health, infectious diseases, neuroscience, photonics, and urban health. University's strategic plan calls for the removal of barriers between previously siloed departments, schools, and fields. The result has been an increasing emphasis by the university on interdisciplinary work and the creation of multidisciplinary centers such as the Center for Integrated Life Sciences and Engineering CILSE, a $140 million, nine-story research facility that will bring together life scientists, engineers, and physicians from the Medical and Charles River campuses, the Institute for Health Systems Innovation and Policy, a cross-campus initiative combining business, health law, medicine, and public policy, a neurophotonic Photonics Center that will combine photonics and neuroscience to study the brain, and the Software and Application Innovation Lab where technologists work with colleagues in the arts and humanities and together develop digital research tools. The strategic plan also encouraged research collaborations with industry and government partners. In 2016, as part of a broad-based effort to solve the critical problem of antibiotic resistance, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services selected the Boston University School of Law and Kevin Outerson, a BU professor of law, to lead a $350 million transatlantic public-private partnership to foster the preclinical development of new antibiotics and antimicrobial rapid diagnostics and vaccines. That same year, BU researcher Avram Spira joined forces with Janssen Research and Development and its Disease Interception Accelerator Group. Spira, a professor of medicine, pathology and laboratory medicine, and bioinformatics, has spent his career at BU pursuing a better, an earlier, way to diagnose pulmonary disorders and cancers, primarily using biomarkers and genomic testing. In 2015, under a $13.7 million Defense Department grant, Spira's e-orts to identify which members of the military will develop lung cancer and COPD caught the attention of Janssen, Part Johnson & Johnson. They are investing $10.1 million to collaborate with Spira's lab with the hope that his discoveries, and potential therapies, could then apply to the population at large. Topic grade deflation The independently run student newspaper at Boston University, the Daily Free Press, as well as the New York Times, have published articles exploring the existence of grade deflation. The Times discovered that administrators have suggested to faculty members deflated ideal grade distributions. Although an article in the official publication BU Today asserted that the GPAs of BU undergrads and the percentage of A's and B's have both risen over the last two decades, the New York Times has found BU grades have been rising more slowly with respect to many other schools. In 2014, the average GPA of a BU undergraduate was 3.16, compared to the averages of 3.35 for Boston College 2007, 3.48 for Amherst College 2006, 3.52 for New York University 2015, and 3.65 for Harvard University 2015, about 81% of all grades earned in either the A or B range 75% in the B range. The article went on to note that although the university attempted to curb grade inflation and inconsistency in the late 1990s, both the percentage of AS and GPAs have been rising since. They attributed the grade inflation that has occurred not to teachers' grading policies, but to the increasing quality of each incoming class which leads to more top grades. Topic journals and publications Boston University is home to several academic journals and publications. The School of Law hosts six nationally recognized law journals, including the Boston University Law Review, American Journal of Law and Medicine, Review of Banking and Financial Law, Boston University International Law Journal, Journal of Science and Technology Law, and Public Interest Law Journal. The School of Education houses the Journal of Education, which is the oldest continuously published journal in the field of education in the country. In the College of Arts and Sciences, Studies in Romanticism is housed at the Department of English and the Journal of Field Archaeology is housed at the Department of Archaeology. 
The Department of History is affiliated with the Historical Society, which publishes the Journal of the Historical Society and Historically Speaking. The American Journal of Media Psychology and the Public Relations Journal are currently edited by professors at the College of Communication, which is also home to the New England Center for Investigative Reporting, which generates numerous publications yearly. Topic special academic programs Topic General education The BU Hub currently, each of the ten BU undergraduate schools and college have their own general education program, and all of them will be replaced by a new university-wide undergraduate curriculum, the BU Hub, that will go into effect in the fall of 2018. It will require a minimum of 40 credits of coursework in the core capacities of, philosophical, aesthetic, and historical interpretation, scientific and social inquiry, quantitative reasoning, diversity, civic engagement, and global citizenship, written, oral, and multimedia communication, and an intellectual toolkit that includes critical thinking, collaboration, and creativity. Kalachand Honors College The University Honors College matriculated its first class in 2010. In 2011, it was renamed Arvind and Chandan Nadlal Kalachand Honors College following a $25 million donation from Rajan Kalachand, the largest donation in the history of the university. The Kalachand Honors College is a university-wide community of faculty and students dedicated to preserving, renewing, and rethinking classic ideals of liberal education, love of learning, intellectual curiosity, self-discovery, empathy, clarity of thought and expression. It rests on three pillars, an integrated, four-year curriculum, an extensive series of co-curricular events that include site visits to leading cultural institutions as well as talks and readings by leading figures in the arts, sciences, and professions, and, finally, a living and learning community that offers students the personal atmosphere of a small liberal arts college and fosters responsibility and citizenship. Topic. Trustee Scholars Program. Although not an academic program per se, the Trustee Scholars Program is a merit-based, full-tuition scholarship for top students. Beyond the financial benefits, Trustee Scholars are also treated to special lectures by distinguished professors. Additionally, Trustee Scholars can live in a designated residence on campus, Boyd Hall. <laughs> Boston University Academy Boston University Academy is a private high school operated by Boston University. Founded in 1993, the school sits within the university's campus and students are offered the opportunity to take university courses. Student life Student publications Despite a student activities policy which prohibits student-run publications from receiving university funding for printing costs, student journals continue to thrive at Boston University as department-sponsored publications, edited by students under the supervision of faculty and staff advisors. Although officially and entirely independent from the university, the Daily Free Press often referred to as the Freep, is the campus student newspaper, and the fourth largest daily newspaper in Boston. Since 1970, it has provided students with campus news, city and state news, sports coverage, editorials, arts and entertainment, and special feature stories. The Daily Free Press is published every regular instruction day of the university year and is available in BU dorms, classroom buildings, and commercial locations frequented by students. The Boston Political Review is BU's premier on-campus political magazine. Founded in the spring of 2014, the BPR publishes an online edition every month, with a range of subjects including national, global, and local politics as well as sections on lobbying, social issues, and economics. The BPR prints their highlighted articles and new material once every semester in a free print magazine that is distributed around campus. Their mission is to offer Boston University students, alumni, staff, and faculty the chance to read a balanced political magazine that offers arguments from all points of view on the political spectrum. Founded in spring 2009, the Boo Buzz is Boston University's lifestyle magazine. Sections include campus, city, arts, food, music, fashion, sports, and abroad. 
In the spring of 2013, The Buzz rebranded as an online magazine, ceasing its bi-annual publication to allow for weekly and daily updated articles, including the addition of new sections and new interactive features. Booze the Quad is an independent, student-run online magazine started in the fall of 2009. The magazine features articles and columns on topics including campus news, television, food, politics, and music. Synapse is the Boston University undergraduate science magazine and is published online every semester. The science focus is on many disciplines ranging from life sciences to physical sciences, engineering to mathematics, and finance to economics. The magazine is peer and faculty reviewed, and is advertised with routine, campus-wide distribution of pamphlets highlighting featured articles. Synapse was first published in the spring of 2009 and continues to publish articles each semester. The Brownstone Journal is the longest-running campus publication, having been publishing undergraduate research, scholarly articles and essays, and literary work in translation, since 1982. The Brownstone is currently sponsored by the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program, but was originally a departmental publication of the University Professors Program. The literary magazine Clarion has been printed since 1998. The first issue, titled, quote, question mark, quote, was published by the group Students for Literary Awareness with the sponsorship of the Department of English. Subsequent issues were issued by the Boo Literary Society, and most recently, by the Boo Book Lab. Burn Magazine is a younger literary magazine, affiliated with Clarion, but publishing the work of student authors only. The inaugural issue of Boston University's youngest literary magazine, Coup d'état, was published in January 2014 by the Boston University Literary Society, with the support of the Department of English. It is published biannually, taking submissions both students of BOO and nationally. In 2006, the first issue of Pustybloom Journal of Translation was published by a group of former and current students of a co curricular poetry seminar run by Professor George Caligeris of the Core Curriculum. The journal, jointly sponsored by the Department of Romance Languages, the Department of Modern Languages and Comparative Literatures, and the Core Curriculum, publishes literature in translation and articles concerning translation. The Journal of the Core Curriculum has been published continuously since 1992 by the College of Arts and Sciences Core Curriculum. Produced by a student editorial staff with the guidance of a faculty advisor, the interdisciplinary core journal publishes academic prose, literary imitations, fictitious encounters between figures from the great works, original poetry and creative writing, essays, artwork, translations, and even in volume 16, Spring 2007 original musical compositions. The Back Bay Review is a student-edited journal of criticism, classics and the humanities. The faculty of the CAS Writing Program offers their WR-enrolled undergraduates the opportunity to publish exceptional work in WR, Journal of the CAS Writing Program. Arche is an annual journal of undergraduate work in philosophy, whose first issue was released in the summer of 2007. It is sponsored by the Department of Philosophy and published by the Undergraduate Philosophy Association. The International Relations Review began in 2009 as a subsidiary publication of the Boston University International Affairs Association. Entirely student-run, the IR Review is an independent scholarly journal publishing articles from all areas in international affairs. Even more independent, the Student Underground, focuses on alternative political and cultural activity. Since 1997, issues have been published roughly monthly by a not-for-profit collective, composed mostly of BOO students. In 2007, the paper began operating under the name The Boston Underground. The original editorial focus on campus issues has over the years weakened as the founding editors graduated from BOO or left Boston altogether. The Sam Adams Review was a short-lived monthly student newspaper, providing news for the American spirit geared toward a conservative readership. Its staff was not officially recognized as a registered student activity group but, like the underground, was entirely student-run. Boink was launched in February 2005 by a group of undergrads led by Alicia Oliorik, who was then a senior at the College of Communications. The magazine featured Boo students posing nude, as well as articles on sexuality. At the time of its first issue, the Dean of Students issued a statement explaining that the university does not endorse, nor welcome, the prospective publication Boink. The magazine remained unaffiliated with the university. 
As of 2010, the magazine had ceased publishing new issues, although a related book could still be purchased online. In September 2005, the student paper The Source began to appear weekly, and was characterized by a predominance of arts and entertainment coverage. No new issues were printed after November 2006, and it appears the publisher Greenline Media is now defunct. Boo Culture Shock is the official blog of the Howard Thurman Center, Boston University's multicultural center. It is dedicated to free expression and open discussion. Culture Shock was notable for its coverage of the 2011 Boston University Union election, inviting contributions from candidates along with other students. Topic. Community Service Center The Boston University Community Service Center CSC facilitates education, reflection, and service through more than 13 volunteer programs related to opportunities of local, national, or global concern, including hunger and food justice, children and education, elders, disabilities, homelessness and affordable housing, human rights, public health, LGBTQ plus communities, and the environment. The CSC also runs two one-week programs. During the first year Student Outreach Project FYSOP, upperclassmen lead groups of freshmen in volunteer activities throughout Boston before the start of first semester. For Alternative Service Breaks ASB, hundreds of students travel by 12-passenger van, bus, and airplane to locations throughout the country to partner with communities and community organizations. Topic. Graduate workshops. Willing Suspension Productions provides graduate English students the opportunity to present rare early modern drama before a Boston audience. The program was founded in 1993 and produces one play per year. ROTC The Reserve Officer Training Corps ROTC, at BU traces its origins back to August 16, 1919 when the U.S. War Department stood up the Students' Army Training Corps at Boston University, the predecessor to the current Army ROTC program. Today, BU is one of 25 colleges and universities in the country to host all three ROTC programs, Army, Navy, and Air Force. Students wishing to be commissioned into the Marine Corps study as Navy midshipmen. Topic. Honor societies Alpha Phi Sigma, New Mu Chapter Alpha Phi Sigma, the National Criminal Justice Honor Society, recognizes academic excellence in undergraduate and graduate criminal justice students, as well as Juris Doctor JD students, inducting new members twice yearly. The goals of Alpha Phi Sigma are to honor and promote academic excellence, community service, and educational leadership and unity. The society was founded in 1942 at Washington State University. The new MU chapter was chartered May 2012 at Boston University. Alpha Phi Sigma is the only criminal justice honor society certified as a member of the Association of College Honor Societies and affiliated with the Academy of Criminal Justice Sciences. Topic Other clubs and activities The Boston University Asian Student Union focuses on Asian and Asian American issues. It hosts a variety of social, cultural, and social justice events throughout the year. The Boston University Dear Abbeys is an all-male student a cappella group. In 2005, they won the International Championship of Collegiate a cappella, a nationwide tournament for collegiate a cappella groups. WTBU is BOO student-run, volunteer radio station, which broadcasts live 20 hours a day. The DJs are all BOO students who have interned on the station for at least one semester, and the station is entirely student-run with the assistance of a faculty advisor. The Boston University Fishing Club offers a community for university students to learn how to fish and has frequent fishing excursions both in and out of state. Boston University Bhangra is one of the most well-known co-ed collegiate Bhangra dance teams. The team was founded in 1999. Boston University is one of the 22 nationwide college sites where there is a branch of Peer Health Exchange. Peer Health Exchange trains college students to become fee health educators in neighboring public high schools that lack funding for health education. 
Health educators teach the following topics in ninth grade classrooms, decision making and communication I, sexual decision making, pregnancy prevention, sexually transmitted infections and HIV, healthy relationships, abusive relationships, rape and sexual assault, nutrition and physical activity, tobacco, alcohol, drugs, mental health, and decision making and communication II, Boston University Curling Club was founded in 2006. They are a club sport with the goal of teaching and fostering the sport for the Boo community. The club competes in many tournaments with other schools such as Harvard, MIT, Rochester, and many others. In 2013, Boo Curling competed in the College Curling National Championship and placed fourth. Boston University Stage Troupe is the university's oldest and largest performing arts group. Open to undergrads not majoring in theater, the group performs many shows a year, and also hosts special events, some of which are coordinated with the Dean of Students. The Boston University Debate Society regularly competes on the American Parliamentary Debate Association debate circuit. During the 2010-11 season, Buds fielded debaters who won both Team of the Year distinction as well as the 2011 National Championship at West Point, NY. The team hosts an unopposed national tournament on campus each spring, with nearly every APDA college represented. The Boston University Figure Skating Club is a team of students who figure skate and ice dance, and a member of the United States Figure Skating Association. It is the reigning two-time U.S. National Intercollegiate Team Champion. In addition, the Boston University Terrierettes compete in collegiate synchronized skating, and have routinely placed in the top 10 at the United States Synchronized Team Skating Championships. The Boston University International Affairs Association is the evolution of the Boston University Model United Nations Association which was founded in 1973. This club also hosts two conferences annually, one for high school students and one on the collegiate level. Bossman, BUIAA's high school conference, hosts over 1,000 students annually from all across the globe. Last year, schools came from China, Guatemala, and Canada. Barman Boston Area Model United Nations Conference is BUIAA's college-level conference. Barman stands apart from other college conference in that the conference is a full-scale simulation, ranging from four to eight committee joint crises. The Hug Don't Hate Grassroots Peace Building Campaign was founded in 2006 at Boston University with the mission of creating lasting peace through happiness, understanding and respect. All of Hug Don't Hate's activities are focused on helping individuals find common ground. The activities are divided into four branches, Free Hug Fridays, Urban Smiles, Connective Kindness and B-U-N-I-T-E-D. Hug Don't Hate is also currently expanding to different locations. The Boston University Crafts for Charity Club is an organization of students which creates crafts for local charities. The Greek community on Boo's campus consists of 10 sororities, 10 panhellenic chapters, 10 fraternities, 7 inter-fraternity council chapters, and recently created multicultural Greek council, 4 fraternities and 1 sorority. Greek life on campus became shrouded in controversy in the early 2010s with a number of high-profile incidents including hazing and a student death. Spring 2012 saw multiple hazing incidents. In April 2012, 14 BOO students were charged with hazing, assault and battery, and failure to report hazing in connection with an alleged hazing of pledges to Alpha Epsilon Pi, a fraternity not recognized by the university. In March 2013, a male freshman died after drinking a lethal amount of alcohol at a Sigma Alpha Mu fraternity party. The university suspended the officially sanctioned fraternity in response. The Boston University India Club is the university's largest student-run organization. Open to students of all ethnic backgrounds, the club sponsors cultural shows, performances and activities that showcase South Asian culture. BUIC also hosts and organizes the annual GarbaFest competition, a Garba RAAS competition. Lambda Chi Alpha, Elcha a member of the North American Interfraternity Conference NIC, and one of the largest men's general fraternities in North America, was founded by Warren A. Cole, while he was a student at Boston University, on November 2, 1909. Delta 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 DDD was founded at Boston University on Thanksgiving Eve, 1888. Sarah Ida Shaw, later known as Ida Shaw Martin, founded Tri Delta without the assistance of a men's fraternity, a unique accomplishment for her time. 
Sigma Kappa Ske was founded at Boston University in 1904 when Elidia Foss of Alpha Chapter transferred to Boston and founded the Delta Chapter with a group of ladies who refused to join any other groups on campus. Elidia took the steps to make Sigma Kappa a national sorority and helped Sigma Kappa join the National Panhellenic Conference, which was called the Interfraternity Conference at the time. Gamma Phi Beta Phoebe Delta Chapter at Boston University was founded in 1887. As the Delta Chapter, Gamma Phi Beta is the fourth oldest chapter in the U.S. In 2011, the Delta Chapter celebrated its 125th anniversary at Boston University. Sigma Delta Tau Alpha Xi Chapter at Boston University has been active since 1959. The College of Arts and Sciences CAS Dean's Hosts are a student volunteer organization where members serve as liaisons between CAS students and faculty members. Most notably, CAS Dean's hosts along with CAS Student Government throw the top of the hub formal in downtown Boston annually. The Boston University Soccer Club is an athletic-based club that allows members of the BOO community to participate in a variety of soccer-related events ranging from pickup futsal games at the Fitness and Recreation Center, to philanthropic fundraising matches such as the annual Lose the Shoes charity tournament, from which all the proceeds go to the grassroots soccer campaign. The motto of the club is, unifying diversity through the love of the world's beautiful game. CAS Student Government is the university's largest individual student government group. Each year they work with the administration of the College of Arts and Sciences to deal with multiple student affairs issues within CAS. They also program many events for the students of CAS including, Celtics Night, Coffee at Finals, Ice Skating at Frog Pond, Senior Reception, and many more. Boston University offers close to 500 student organizations on campus. Athletics <laughs> 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 Boston University's NCAA Division I Terriers compete in men's basketball, cross country, golf, ice hockey, rowing, soccer, swimming, tennis, track, and lacrosse, and in women's basketball, dance, cross country, field hockey, golf, ice hockey, lacrosse, rowing, soccer, softball, swimming, tennis, and track. Boston University athletics teams compete in the Patriot League, Hockey East, and Colonial Athletic Association conferences, and their mascot is Rhett the Boston Terrier. As of 1 July 2013, a majority of Boston University's teams will compete in the Patriot League. On April 1, 2013, the university announced it would cut its wrestling program following the 2013-14 season. The Boston University men's hockey team is the most successful on campus, and is a storied college hockey power, with five NCAA championships, most recently in 2009. The team was coached by Hall of Famer Jack Parker for 40 seasons, and is a major supplier of talent to the NHL, as well as to the 1980 USA. Olympic gold medal winning men's hockey team. The Terriers have won 30 Beanpot titles, more than any other team in the tournament, which includes Harvard University, Boston College, and Northeastern University. Boston University also won a game in 2010 against Boston College at Fenway Park by a score of 3-2, played a week after the NHL Winter Classic. Boo has also won two national championships in women's rowing, in 1991 and 1992. Boston University recently constructed the new Agonis Arena, which opened on January 3, 2005 with a men's hockey game between the Terriers and the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. The arena also hosts non-sporting events, such as concerts, ice shows, and other performances. Boston University disbanded its football team in 1997. The university used the nearly $3 million from its football program to build the multi-million dollar John Hancock Student Village and Athletic Complex. The university also increased funding to women's athletic programs. By implementing the total plan, we can achieve a much more balanced set of sports programs for both men and women, which is consistent with the philosophy underlying Title IX," said former BOO Athletic Director Gary Strickler. Topic. Club sports Boston University students also compete in athletics at the club level. 
Thirty-six club sports are recognized by the university, including, synchronized skating, baseball, inline hockey, men's ice hockey, men's volleyball, women's volleyball, snowboard, men's ultimate frisbee and women's ultimate frisbee, kung fu, fencing, rugby football, synchronized swimming, cheerleading, table tennis, women's water polo, men's water polo, women's rugby, alpine ski racing, snowboarding, cycling, badminton, ballroom dance, figure skating, golf, gymnastics, jiu-jitsu, Kendo, Shotokan Karate, Sailing, Taekwondo, Triathlon, Dance Theater Group, Squash, Equestrian, and Men's Club Football. The Boo Sailing Team is one of the most successful teams in college sailing. The team has won seven national championships, most recently in 1999. They have also had three team members graduate as College Sailor of the Year. Notable alumni of the team include Ken Reed, skipper for Puma Ocean Racing in the Volvo Ocean Race, and 2012 U.S. Sailing Rolex Yachtsman of the Year nominee, John Mollicone. The Boo Inline Hockey Team advanced to the NCHRA Tournament in 2001, 2002, and 2003. The team advanced all the way to the Final Four in 2001. Both men's and women's intervarsity table tennis teams have attended the National Collegiate Table Tennis Tournaments and ranked as high as the top 10 nationwide. The Boo Figure Skating Team won the 2009 Intercollegiate National Figure Skating Championships held in Colorado Springs. Notable alumni and academics Over the course of its history, a number of people associated with Boston University have become notable in their fields. Affiliates of Boston University have won seven Nobel Prizes. With over 342,000 alumni, Boston University graduates can be found around the world. American civil rights movement leader Martin Luther King Jr. earned his doctorate in systematic theology at BOO in 1955. After gaining prominence by advocating nonviolent resistance to segregation, he won the 1964 Nobel Peace Prize. Howard Thurman, the dean of Marsh Chapel, influenced King's embrace of nonviolence. Three other alumni hold special historical importance. Rebecca Lee Crumpler was the first African American woman, and Charles Eastman, first named Oyesa, the first American Indian to be certified as doctors, and Helen Magill White was the first woman in the U.S. to earn a Ph.D. Topic. Mathematics and sciences Among the most famous of Boston University scientists is Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone who conducted many of his experiments on the Boo campus when he was professor of vocal physiology and elocution. In Boston, Bell was swept up by the excitement engendered by the many scientists and inventors residing in the city. In 1875, the university gave Bell a year's salary advance to allow him to pursue his research. The following year, he invented the telephone in a Boston University laboratory. In the 21st century, the university has become a pioneering center for synthetic biology thanks to the work of James Collins. Collins and co-workers also discovered that sublethal levels of antibiotics activate mutagenesis by stimulating the production of reactive oxygen species, leading to multidrug resistance. This discovery has important implications for the widespread use and misuse of antibiotics. Other notable Boston University scientists include Sheldon Lee Glashow, winner of the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics, Daniel Suey, winner of the 1998 Nobel Prize in Physics, and Osamu Shimamura, winner of the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Topic. Humanities, music, and art Numerous actors trained at Boston University, including Faye Dunaway, Alfra Woodard, Russell Hornsby, Jason Alexander, Jennifer Goodwin, Marissa Tomai, Emily Deschanel, Viola Leger, Julianne Moore, Uzo Aduba, Paul Michael Glazer and Gina Davis. Notable musicians include Taiwanese composer Wen Pin Hope Lee. Topic. Literature Two U.S. poet laureates have taught at Boston University, Robert Lowell and Robert Pinsky. During John Silver's tenure as president, he recruited two Nobel Prize-winning literary figures to the university's faculty, Elie Wiesel, winner of the 1986 Nobel Peace Prize, and Saul Bellow, winner of the 1976 Nobel Prize in Literature. 
Another Nobel Prize winner in the English department in the 20th century was Derek Walcott, winner of the 1992 Nobel Prize in Literature. Alumni of the university have earned over 30 Pulitzer Prizes. Other writers associated with the university include Bob Zelnick, executive editor of the Frost-Nixon Interviews, Lambda Literary Award winner Ellen Bass, historian Andrew Basevich, Ha Jin, Pulitzer Prize winner Jhumpa Lahiri, and Isaac Asimov. In 1986, literary critic Christopher Ricks, who W.H. Auden called exactly the kind of critic every poet dreams of finding, joined the university's faculty and founded the Editorial Institute with Jeffrey Hill. Controversial historian Howard Zinn taught in the political science department for many years. Journalist Thomas B. Edsel and playwright Eliza Wyatt graduated from Boston University. Paul Beatty, earned a bachelor's and master's degrees in psychology at BU, won the National Book Critics Circle Award and the Man Booker Prize for his novel The Sellout. He is the first writer from the United States honored with the Man Booker. Topic politics Boston University counts 11 current or former governors of U.S. states, 7 United States senators, and 32 members of the United States House of Representatives among its alumni. Notable Boston University alumni in American politics include former Defense Secretary William Cohen, former U.S. Ambassador to China Gary Locke, former Senator Judd Gregg, former United States Senator Edward Brooke, the first popularly elected African American Senator, former Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley, former Second Lady Tipper Gore, and the former First Vice President of the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston Earl O. Latham. Former President William Howard Taft lectured on legal ethics at the university's law school from 1918 to 1921. After leaving politics in 2014, former Boston Mayor Thomas Menino was professor of the practice of political science at the university until his death later in the year. In international politics, Daniel Aziz is a Pakistani politician affiliated with the Pakistan Muslim League who is currently a member of the National Assembly of Pakistan. Television personality Bill O'Reilly studied journalism at the university in the 1970s and was a columnist for the student newspaper, The Daily Free Press. Describing his time at the university, he wrote, Throughout that fall at Boo, covering stories became a passion for me. I loved going places and seeing new things. I ran around Boston annoying the hell out of everyone, but bringing back good, crisp copy and what I learned at Boston University firmly set me on the course I continue to this day. Amidst the chaos of Commonwealth Avenue, I found an occupation that I enjoyed. The founder of the Albanian Orthodox Church, Fan S. Noli, received a doctorate from BU. In 2018, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez BA in Economics and International Relations won the Democratic primary for U.S. Congress in New York's 14th Congressional District. Topic Hollywood In 2014, The Hollywood Reporter took note of the number of female BU graduates working in Hollywood. The university estimates that more than 5,000 alums, 54% of them women, work in entertainment. They include actresses Gina Davis, Julianne Moore, Uzo Aduba, Marissa Tamai, Alfra Woodard, Rosie O'Donnell, Jennifer Goodwin, and Yunjin Kim. Behind the scenes players include former CBS Entertainment Chair Nina Tassler, NBC Universal Cable Entertainment Group Bonnie Hammer, A&E Network's Nancy Dubuque, Warner Horizon Television Brooke Carson, V writer Corinne Brinkerhoff, DreamWorks Animation's Bonnie Arnold, and Red Hour Films Debbie Liebling. Topic popular culture A number of Boston University graduates unassociated with the arts, sciences, or politics have reached fame in popular culture. These include radio personality Howard Stern, Bravo executive Andy Cohen, CBS producer Gordon Hyatt, celebrity chef Rocco Despirito, best-selling self-help author Mark Manson, reality show contestant and television host Rob Mariano, and co-host of Project Runway and fashion editor for Marie Claire magazine Nina Garcia. American comedian and YouTube personality Jenna Marbles studied for a master's degree in education at the university. The Craigslist Killer. Philip Markov studied medicine at the university. Musician and YouTube personality Dana Vedan went to Boo. Topic. In popular culture Boston University is sometimes referenced in art or pop culture. Here below are some notable examples. The Standells, a 1960s California rock and roll band mocked the curfew that applied to female students in that time in their 1966 song, Dirty Water, singing, 
Frustrated women have to be in by 12 o'clock. Parts of the 2008 film 21 were filmed at the castle when Robert Lukedic could not film at MIT. Other areas around the Boston University campus, including Booz School of Management, Muger Library and FITREC also provided production locations for the film. In 1962, Timothy Leary performed his Marsh Chapel experiment, also known as the Good Friday Experiment, in the university's Marsh Chapel. The experiment investigated whether psilocybin the active principle in psilocybin mushrooms would act as a reliable entheogen in religiously predisposed subjects. The Academy Award-winning movie The Social Network 2010 involves a fictionalized version of Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard student, offending his date by insisting that she does not need to study because you go to BU. Some Boston University students were insulted by this. In the film Mr. Church, the character of Charlotte, Charlie, Brooks, portrayed by Britt Robertson, is accepted at and attends Boo. The sitcom Cheers mentions Boo in five episodes over the course of the series. In 2010, Boston University's Aaron McLean won the Jeopardy College Championship and a $100,000 prize. In the Netflix drama Mindhunter one of the female scientists on the case is from Boston University and the university provides a setting for some of the show. Gallery See also Boston University Portal Boston University Tanglewood Institute Boston University Police Department Einstein Papers Project Framingham Heart Study References Further reading Kilgore, Kathleen 1991. Transformations, A History of Boston University. Boston, Boston University Press. ISBN 0-87270-070-4. Saltzman, Nancy Buildings and Builders, An Architectural History of Boston University. Boston, Boston University Press. ISBN 0-87270-056-9. Topic. External links Official website Boston University Athletics website Boston University The New Students Reference Work, 1914 Boston University Encyclopedia Americana, 1920 Boston University Collier's New Encyclopedia, 1921